right implemented a teen's unholy grail because I managed to bring 1000 referrals, 4500 to be exactly. The item is, um, is a little bit overpowered, but uh, it, it goes in line with the thing. I mean, when you, when you implement an Athene item, then of course it's going to be a little bit overpowered because it has my name on it. Just my name and its R is already going to carry the item and it's going to carry the players to, uh, to victories. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be going through the thread and give uh, my own insight in what you have to say. I have a potion and uh, yeah, let people know what I think about uh, yeah, your arguments and your logic. I'm going to be going through the thread and uh, yeah, just share my experiences with you guys. Let's have a look here. Let me start if uh, that I knew Athena, Athena in Ultima Online. Uh, take this as a first-hand testimony how he's a fraud. Uh, I have a potion, if you really knew Athene, uh, Athena in Ultima Online, you wouldn't uh, call me Athene, you would call me uh, Sir Athene. You would call me a Lord Athene, because that was my title in Ultima Online. Uh, I was Lord Athena, and uh, yeah, I was owning Ultima Online like a boss, saying that I'm a, a fraud. I wonder what you're going to be saying. In his interview he said, Athene, well, I had a guild in Ultima Online and I was dominating the server, but when WoW came out, the guild abandoned me for WoW, so I decided to go point some noobs in WoW so I had a brighter future for a pro gamer like me. That is completely bullshit what you're saying there. I had the most successful guild in Ultima Online called uh, Artifact Infantry, or uh, as well Apple Infantry afterwards, or DM Despise Mafia. And we ruled the lands completely, we owned everyone. People had to pay to uh, play the game, for real. Like, uh, there was all those power scroll huntings going on, and uh, people had to give us uh, half of the power scrolls in order to be able to do the champion spawns. And if they didn't, we just came, owned them all, and left, and took everything. So, we dominated that server, Europe it was called, and people all uh, transferred to Dragonfells back in the days, because they were pissing and shitting their pants, and we're so pissed because we were ruling the game. Let me tell you, he never dominated squat. In fact, he wasn't anywhere but mediocre. Didn't win a single tournament. And I and a friend of mine, who also remember him, probably squashed him in some of them. Uh, Mr. I have a potion. I don't know in which fucking world you live or what uh, Ultima Online you played. But there was no tournaments in Ultima Online. I don't even know what you're talking about. Maybe you think it was a pre-alpha League of Legends because that's the only game you play. I think you're 12 years old and while I was playing Ultima Online you were swimming in the balls of your father or something. And let's see, his attitude, added, added uh, I think uh, that's even uh, wrongly spelled, is a first class typical silver tongue type in how he portrays himself infinitely bigger and better than he truly is. This is a fraudulent personality and a disorder at that. Uh, Mr. I have a potion. I think that um, your insight in human psychology, psychology uh, reaches its maximum. Uh, maybe if you look at uh, acting movies and you see people acting like the Joker, you might go around and say that those people are completely crazy or loonies. If you would follow me, if you would follow my YouTube channel, you would know and realize that a teen is a persona that is a satire to people like you, you fucking scrub. People that take the gaming way too serious and don't understand and can't look further than the gaming little mindset and uh, don't put things in a bigger context and take gaming way too serious to such an extent that they even suck at the game. Then psychology aside, the only reason that he is so called popular is because he sleezed himself around making up this image and did it again with the charity trend. I don't know which charity trend there is if you would base yourself on the Coney 2012 you don't want to jump the Coney 2012 bandwagon because that would make you look like a fapper in public. But on top of that, if you would say like, I sleaze out like 600,000 subscribers and that all my world records are also just sleezed out and full of shit and my poker um, records which are even more impressive than any gaming record, if you think that's also all a scam and a fraud, then I think you have to revise yourself and maybe uh, have a little visit to some kind of psych, psycho, psychiatric uh, to uh, let your guy, to get yourself, get checked up. Managers steered to this, admitted, but it's still a business trend he followed. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. This adds to the fraud. I guess like the fraud is the concept that you're talking about, about a thing. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I think by this time you already lost the plot. 
you were so angry, so jelly, so jelly that I got my own item and you haven't achieved shit in gaming, shit in life that uh, the only thing you can do is make a thread and make me bigger because there's 50 pages talking about a thing, there's 50 pages talking about me and uh, yeah, the only reason you got a little bit of attention is because of me so instead of talking shit and saying I'm a fraud, you should rather thank me because at least you got some kind of uh, response on the thread based on a thing raising almost half a million dollars for them kids together with the community it's never done not any gaming community not even any community online has ever had the ability to raise so much money for children dying in Africa bringing awareness I wanna make you look in the mirror and tell yourself what you did for people dying in Africa what did you do even further for the people around you the only thing you did is uh, talk shit and being full of shit and suck at the game that's all you do if you look around about the gaming industry and how gamers are portrayed as mass serial murderers and all that shit, I think that uh, the, the hunger strike and uh, everything we've been doing for them kids, uh, what we've been achieved with the community has actually put it, the gaming community in a good spotlight. And uh, if I'm really honest, I think that that's what the gaming community needs. So I think I'm doing much, much more good for the gaming community than bad. And even though that the thing is a... Uh, is a persona. Um, all in all, I think what we're doing as a group is is really good for the gaming industry. So there you go.